Subscribe to the channel to motivate us to produce several videos and thank you from the bottom of my heart. The Tower of Belém The Tower of Belém, also known as the Tower of St. Vincent, is a 16th century fortress located in the civil parish of Santa Maria de Belém, in the municipality of Lisbon, Portugal. It was built during the reign of King John II to be part of a defense system at the mouth of the Tagus River and as a ceremonial gateway to Lisbon. The tower is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered to be one of the most prominent examples of the Manuline style of architecture. It is also an important symbol of the Age of Discoveries and the Portuguese Maritime Empire. Cape St. Vincent Cape St. Vincent, also known as Cabo de São Vicente, is a headland located in the Algarve region of southern Portugal. It is the southwesternmost point of continental Europe and the meeting point of the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The Cape is known for its strong winds and rough seas, and has been an important navigational landmark for sailors for centuries. On the Cape, there is a lighthouse and a chapel dedicated to St. Vincent, a patron saint of sailors. The chapel, which dates back to the 18th century, is built on the site of an earlier chapel that was destroyed by an earthquake in 1755. The lighthouse and chapel are popular tourist attractions and offer panoramic views of the surrounding coastline. The Cape is also a popular spot for watching migratory birds and for nature walks. Rigalira Palace The Palace of the Rigalira, also known as the Palace of Montero the Millionaire, is a palace and estate located in the civil parish of São Pedro de Peniferim, in the municipality of Sintra, Portugal. It was built in the early 20th century by the wealthy Brazilian businessman Antonio Augusto Carvalho Montero, who purchased the property in 1892. The palace is an eclectic mix of architectural styles, including Gothic, Renaissance, and Manuline, and is known for its elaborate decoration and intricate symbolism. The palace is surrounded by lush gardens and is particularly famous for its wells, which are underground tunnels and caves that were used for initiation ceremonies. The deepest well, the Initiation Well, is 27 meters deep and it has nine levels connected by ladders. The palace is also known for its elaborate decoration and intricate symbolism, which is said to represent themes such as alchemy, the occult, and Freemasonry. The palace is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and open to visitors. Benagil Cave The Benagil Cave is a natural sea cave located in the Algarve region of southern Portugal. It is located on the coast of the town of Lagoa, and is known for its striking natural beauty and unique architecture. The cave is formed by erosion caused by the sea and has a large hole in the top which allows sunlight to flood in, creating a natural skylight. The cave is part of the coastline that stretches from Carvuero to Portimo and it is considered a unique natural feature of the Algarve region. The cave is accessible by boat and it is possible to swim inside the cave. It is a popular spot for tourists, photography, and swimming. The Lelo Bookshop The Lelo Bookshop is a famous bookshop located in Porto, Portugal. It is known for its beautiful Art Nouveau design and is considered one of the most beautiful bookshops in the world. The bookshop has been in operation since 1906 and has been serving the literary community of Porto for over a century. It is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the world to admire its stunning interior and browse its shelves.
Foz do Arelho. Foz do Arelho is a seaside village in Portugal, located on the Atlantic coast. It is known for its beautiful beach and calm waters, making it a popular destination for tourists seeking a beach holiday. The village is surrounded by natural beauty, including the Abidos Lagoon and the Berlengas Islands, which offer opportunities for activities such as swimming, fishing, and boat trips. The area is also rich in history and cultural heritage, with several historic monuments, churches, and fortresses to visit. Overall, Foz do Arelho is a great place for those seeking a combination of beach and cultural experiences. View of King View of King Portugal could refer to a depiction of the King of Portugal, such as a painting, portrait, sculpture, or other representation. The specific description of the representation would depend on the artist's style and interpretation. Without more context or a specific artwork in mind, it is not possible to provide a detailed description. Can you provide more information or specify what you would like to know about View of King Portugal? Monsanto. Monsanto is a name of a city located in Portugal. It is situated in the district of Coimbra, in the central region. It is known for its castle and the beautiful landscape surrounding it. It has a population of around 1,300 people. Monsanto is also a name of a neighborhood in Lisbon, Portugal, known for its historical buildings, picturesque streets, and its association with the Monsanto Forest Park, a popular park and recreation area in the city. Costa Nova Beach Costa Nova Beach is a popular beach located in Aveiro, Portugal. It is known for its traditional, brightly painted wooden houses and its beautiful sandy beach. The beach is surrounded by dunes and is a popular destination for swimming, sunbathing and other beach activities. Costa Nova is also a popular destination for tourists who come to explore the nearby town of Aveiro, known for its canals and traditional boats. Serra da Estrela Serra da Estrela is a mountain range in central Portugal, known for its highest peak, Torre, which is the highest point in continental Portugal. The range is popular for its scenic beauty, winter sports, and its traditional wool industry. It is a protected area, with many natural parks, lakes, rivers, and villages that attract tourists throughout the year. The Convent of Christ 
The Convent of Christ is a former Catholic convent located in Tomar, Portugal. It was built in the 12th century by the Knights Templar and later transformed into a Gothic-style church in the 16th century. The Convent of Christ is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its unique blend of architectural styles and its role in Portugal's history. It is a popular tourist attraction and is considered one of the most important examples of Portuguese religious architecture. The University of Coimbra The University of Coimbra is a public university located in Coimbra, Portugal. It was founded in 1290 and is one of the oldest universities in Europe and the world. The University of Coimbra has a rich history and has played a major role in Portuguese academic and cultural life for over 700 years. It is known for its stunning Baroque-style architecture, including the Biblioteca Jonina, one of the most beautiful libraries in the world. The university is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts many tourists each year. It offers a wide range of undergraduate and graduate programs in a variety of disciplines, including law, medicine, humanities, and natural sciences. The Beach of the Lord of the Stone The Praia do Senhor de Pedra is a beach located in the Portuguese village of São Pedro de Mol, on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. It is known for its unique rock formations and is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in Portugal. The beach is named after a large rock that resembles the silhouette of a man, known as the Lord of the Stone. It is a popular destination for tourists, who come to enjoy the sun, sand, and sea, as well as the stunning natural scenery. The Praia do Senhor de Pedra is also a popular spot for surfing, fishing, and other water-based activities. The Basilica of Santa Luzia 
The Basilica of Santa Luzia is a Roman Catholic church located in the city of Viana do Castelo, Portugal. It is one of the most iconic landmarks of the city and is known for its stunning art deco and neo-Gothic architectural style. The church was built in the 20th century and is dedicated to St. Lucy, the patron saint of Viana do Castelo. It is considered one of the most beautiful religious buildings in Portugal and attracts many tourists each year. The interior of the basilica is notable for its stained glass windows, intricate carvings, and elegant frescoes. The church also offers panoramic views of the city and the Atlantic Ocean from its observation deck. BOM Jesus do Monte Sanctuary The BOM Jesus do Monte Sanctuary is a Roman Catholic pilgrimage site located in Braga, Portugal. It is famous for its elaborate staircase, the Escadaria do Bom Jesus, which leads up to the church and offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. The sanctuary was built in the 19th century and is dedicated to the infant Jesus of Prague. It is a popular destination for tourists and pilgrims, who come to admire its architectural beauty and to participate in religious events. The sanctuary is set in a park and features a series of chapels and fountains, as well as a number of viewpoints that offer panoramic views of the city and the surrounding landscape. The Douro Valley The Douro Valley is a region located in northern Portugal and is known for its production of port wine. The valley is surrounded by stunning scenery, including rolling hills, vineyards, and the Douro River, making it a popular tourist destination. Activities in the area include wine tasting, boat cruises, and exploring traditional villages. The Ribera. The Ribera is a historic neighborhood in Porto, Portugal, located along the Douro River. It is known for its traditional houses, narrow streets, and bustling atmosphere, making it a popular tourist attraction. The Ribera is also home to many restaurants, bars, and cafes, and is considered one of the best places in Porto to try traditional Portuguese cuisine.
The Ribera is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its well-preserved architectural and cultural heritage. Pena National Palace The Pena National Palace is a historic palace located in Sintra, Portugal. It was built in the 19th century and is known for its eclectic mix of architectural styles, including Gothic, Manuline, Renaissance, and Islamic. The palace is a popular tourist destination and is considered one of Portugal's most important cultural landmarks. The village of Piodao. Piodao is a village located in the central region of Portugal. It is known for its traditional architecture and is considered one of the country's most picturesque villages. The homes in Piodao are built from local stone and feature sloping red tile roofs, and the village is set in a verdant landscape surrounded by forests and rolling hills. Piadeo is a popular tourist destination and attracts many visitors who are interested in exploring its charming streets and admiring its unique architecture. Abidos. Abidos is a historic town in Portugal, located in the western region of the country. 
It is known for its well-preserved medieval fortifications and charming cobbled streets, which are lined with traditional homes and local shops. The town is also famous for its local cherry liqueur, Guinea, which is often served in chocolate cups. Abydos is a popular tourist destination and attracts many visitors who are interested in exploring its history and cultural heritage, as well as its charming atmosphere and scenic beauty. Nazer. Nazer is a seaside town located in central Portugal. It is known for its stunning beaches and dramatic cliffs, as well as its traditional fishing village atmosphere. The town is famous for its giant waves, which are some of the largest surfed waves in the world, and it attracts many surfers from around the globe. In addition to its natural beauty, Nazer is also rich in history and cultural heritage, and is home to several historic churches, chapels, and fortifications. And finally Madeira. Madeira is an autonomous region of Portugal located in the Atlantic Ocean. It is an archipelago composed of two main islands, Madeira and Porto Santo, and several smaller islands. Madeira is known for its stunning natural beauty, including its lush subtropical forests, rugged coastline, and colorful gardens. The region is also famous for its Madeira wine, which is made from grapes grown on the slopes of the island's volcanic mountains. Madeira is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors with its mild climate, scenic beauty, and rich cultural heritage.